What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Blood Angel here, and today I'll be doing a uh, figure review of uh, The Walking Dead <coughs> comic book series 1, Rick Grimes. So, this is Rick Grimes, the main character in the very popular comic book series The Walking Dead, and the TV show. There is a TV show, but, um, yeah, it started as a comic, so... Let's get down to reviewing him, shall we? So, I'll take off all these, all these accessories for a second. Hang on, just to get you a bit of a good look at him. So, the um, the packaging boasts that this has uh, 25 points of articulation. Which means so he's got a ball joint here on his head. He can move all the way around. Like that. You can put him in different positions. As you can see, a bit blurry, but the detail... And this is very nice and very slick. He's got a uh, coat there with like an undershirt. Looks like he has packs for ammo and whatnot. He's got the um, badge on his sleeve there. And I really do like his jacket. It's got this cotton or wool, wool sorry, this wool co uh, collar. It's really, really nice. Well done. And um, now the jacket is just well detailed. And so is his, um, <coughs> his undershirt. And it comes with a uh, holster. Right here, and the little, I don't know what you call it, another secondary holster, that's where his axe goes, so. His, um, his pants are really well detailed, I like how they have a nice little, little line going down there, I really do like that, and his feet, his feet, hang on, see if I can get better light on it, his feet look really good, they're, um, it, it looks like, you know, he's been, He's been through a war, you know, he's, he's been through hell, he's been tracking through mud, and his, um, there's a joint here that allows his feet to move, they don't go all the way around, well they can, but the pants do sort of stop that, there's, he can bend at the knees, he can bend at the arms, bend at the wrists, and he can also bend, articulate right there, and also you can move that like that. Okay, so let me just. Oh, and also another thing I noticed is that his legs are sort of one's longer than the other, but that's just mainly so you can like pose him in all cool positions. So let's get down to the accessories. First, we have his uh, gun bag or police duffel bag. Police duffel bag that he finds pretty much at the start. I think it's the first issue. He finds that, picks it up at the. Uh, police station and he puts all his weapons in it so let's get down to the weapons he comes with his uh trademark hatchet which is really well detailed and it's um he picks this one up at issue two i think he finds it in a barn or something like that correct me if i'm wrong but yeah the um the hatchet is very well detailed it's a very nice paint job it looks it looks pretty worn like you know he's used it a lot and another thing we have here is his uh pistol Right here, sorry. He has a nice little pistol that comes with him. You can pose him in all cool positions and stuff, like I had him pointing at something and reaching for a shotgun. But So yeah, this is his pistol. Uh, on the package it says that it's a um, revolver. But to me it looks more like a, you know, M1911 Colt or, you know, whatever. So, another weapon he has is sort of... A I don't really know the name, but it's just a shotgun. It doesn't have a big long stock. It's sort of like a sawn off a sort of thing. But, um, yeah, it's it's pretty well detailed. And, yeah, that's all I can say about that. The second one we have here is a uh, longer barrel shotgun with a bigger stock. Hang on, let me move the camera so you can see into the light. There we go. So it's got a bit of a bigger stock, and yeah, it's good detailed. I know you can't see the paint, but it's uh, mainly black frame with the, uh, the pump action is brown, and so is the stock. It's also the part where the shells come out is painted grey. Moving on to the third shotgun. This one is pretty much almost the same as the other one, except the bottom one has a uh, longer barrel, but everything else is pretty much the same. Now we move on to my favourite shotgun. This is rifle i guess you could call it it is friggin cool really long barrel really long stock it's all black all black but no yeah this one is probably my favorite weapon he has okay so let's just move back on to let's move back on to rick for a second now a couple of flaws 
his arms do not go all the way down straight. Like that's that's as low as his arms can go. Now I'm just nitpicking here, but you know this it's yeah it's okay. I don't really mind too much. But oh, and then another part of detail that I missed on his hand here, his his hand, he's got a bandage. That's all bloody, so it looks like, you know, he's cut himself or whatever, but that's really cool. And another thing, sorry, I'm jumping from one point to another here, is that his, um, his hat is really cool. His hat, but, um, usually in, like, in the TV series and in the, is that, um, the little gold wraparound thing is just painted brown. And also the little two doilies there. It would be better if they were painted gold, but, you know, what can you do? This is still really cool. <coughs> Really cool uh, figure, really cool collectible to add to your collection if you like the Walking Dead series or any zombie thing at all. Also, he just looks like a freaking badass, you know. Now, I picked him up for 20 about, oops, shit. I picked him up for about 25 bucks down at uh, Kaboom Comics, where I live. It's a really good comic store. And I picked him up there for about 25 bucks, so it's a little pricey, yeah, but, you know, you're paying for what you get, and it's pretty cool, so, yeah. I have yet to get uh, Daryl Dixon which seems to be a favourite, you know, because he's such a badass, he sells out like that. So, yeah, this is, um, that's it on pretty much all the points I have to say. Oh, sorry, another thing, things I didn't cover, sorry about this. The uh, pistol can fit pretty, really nicely in this holster, just like that. Also on the other side, the uh, secondary holder thingy I showed you showed you the hatchet can actually fit in there it's a bit of a tight squeeze but it fits quite nicely so yeah all right so that's it this has been my review on the mcfarlane toys of rick grimes the walking dead series hope you enjoyed